Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jensine, aka Jungle Naps here. So today I'm doing my September beauty favorites. I've kind of got like a wide array of things. I've got makeup, I've got a little bit of skincare, I've got hair products, so this should be really fun. As always, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and also give this a thumbs up, whether you're a subby or you just happen to stumble across my channel. The more thumbs up I feel, the more warm and fuzzy and happy I feel inside, as cheesy as that is. <laughs> um, so okay, let's just uh, get right into this. So okay, one thing I want to say, I have to give my disclaimer because a lot of these products I've used are like loved, you know, and they've just been used a lot this month, so they're not exactly the cleanest, but I feel like that's how you guys are gonna know whether I've really used it or not, right? All right, so the first one is the Sultanicals Knot Sauce Coil Detangler. So, you know, if you've been watching my channel for a little while, you would have seen that I did a wash day with this. Now, I will link it up above in the info card if you want to go check that video out. So, you know, obviously this is from Sultanicals. It's a leave-in and it's also a detangler. So whenever you want to, you know, get those knots, get your hair right, get it, you know, detangled, this thing is like a godsend. Personally, I have a lot of hair. It is very thick and if I happen to just like neglect it for a few days, you know, because hey, we all get lazy, I know that I can always turn to this. This works better than, you know, detangling my hair under running water. This is like a godsend because it just saves me so much time and with my hair, the longer it gets, the thicker it gets. I just want to save time and you know, I tend to kind of want to be a lazy natural and this helps me out a lot. The scent is like divine, you guys. It smells like a tropical paradise. Yeah, it's got like hints of coconut oil in it. And what I love is that it's all natural. Um, I did order this off of the Hitachi website. I'll put it down in the description box. They have excellent shipping, so if you're interested, please go check it out um, in one of those links down below. The next hair product, I've shown this in a few tutorials already. This is the Hicks Edge Tamer. I've used a lot of hair products like a lot <laughs> um you know my edges just like they just never want to lay down you know i have very thick 4c hair it's so hard but this stuff like oh my god i don't even need to use a brush like if i didn't want to i just make sure my edges are damp put this thing on Oh my god, and you just, what you do is you smooth it with your hands and you can see your edges start to like lay back. Now the key with this, I'll show you guys, it's like a clear little thing if you guys can see that. The key is you always have to tie a scarf. You can't just put this on and then hop out the door. You know, unless you have very fine hair, then that might work. But my hair is really thick, so, you know, it's not gonna work for me. Moving on to skincare. So this month I only have one item and it's actually been a staple item for me since about May. And I kind of waited to introduce this one to you guys because it is more of an investment for your skincare. My personal skin struggle is I have really sensitive skin so uh, texture has always been a problem for me. I've always had just like little tiny bumps from little allergic reactions and whenever I get makeup, you know, even if I would use like a washcloth or something, it just wouldn't get all the way out. I've bought, you know, cheaper alternatives to this product uh, which you'll see in a second and they just never really worked out so let me show you guys what it is um, now here I've got the Clarisonic it's their Mia Fit 2 and I just love this I held off for such a long time because I think this still retails correct me if I'm wrong for $99 uh, I'll, you know I'll put the price down below but I held off because I was just like, ooh, I don't know if I want to spend that on myself, on my skin. What if it doesn't work? You know, you hear all these like mixed reviews and I will tell you from somebody who has sensitive combination skin, this was 
the single best thing I could have ever done for my face. <laughs> like, even if I just used everything else that was shitty, like, you know, shitty cleanser, shitty moisturizer, as long as I have this, I just love knowing that really all that gunk gets out of my pores. And, you know, I couldn't use harsh exfoliators because basically, I mean, they would just irritate my skin and then I would get you know, even more texture and stuff like that. So I'll stop rambling about it, but this is amazing, amazing. And I just, I can't say enough good things about it, really. So next up, I'm moving on to makeup. Okay, so this is like, I'm so happy about this drugstore find. This is a uh, Real Techniques powder brush. You can see over here, it's super fluffy. And uh, do they have a name for this? I think it's just, yeah, it's just their powder brush. Oh my gosh, like this thing, just any type of powder that you have, if you're using a um, powder foundation to set your liquid, con your liquid foundation, yeah. <laughs> powder foundation to set your liquid foundation. This just like disperses it so amazing. Even with like translucent setting powder, oh my goodness, like like superbomb.com. So I think this is about six or seven dollars at the drugstore. It's a really, really, really great find. Um, awesome sauce. So in contrast to my great drugstore find, I also have a really great high-end luxury makeup find. So this is the um, Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer. Terracotta, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, <laughs> so this is the shade number nine, and I know it probably looks super light on camera right now because of my exposure, but this is such a beautiful red um, like bronzer. So, you know, for me, I found that a lot of bronzers that I find are more like what is that texture? It just looks like like dark cocoa, but my skin actually has red undertones and this one just looks, I have it on right now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it just goes on so smoothly, it's so finely milled, it smells amazing, but it doesn't irritate sensitive skin, and I think that the like red undertones in it, especially for my skin tone, just make it look like you have a subtle glow going on, not like you really like piled on that bronzer, you know what I mean? <laughs> Moving on, I've got this really great concealer from Tarte. This is their Shape Tape Concealer. You probably heard like everybody and their mama talk about it and it's for a good, good reason. So this concealer, first of all, I just love their applicator. It's a doe foot and it's actually bigger than like, for example, the NARS concealer, their uh, creamy radiant one. And it goes on beautifully. I mean, when I tell you it doesn't crease, provided that you set it, it doesn't crease. Like, it's amazing, it's amazing. And usually, you know, for me, I'll find that you know, the creasing won't happen until maybe three, four hours in a day with other concealers. With this one, you know, as long as you put a light translucent or light powder on it, like, you are set. So I definitely recommend that you guys check it out. Um, they do, I, I want to say that this is like the darkest shade that they have. So if you are someone with very deep skin tones, I don't know if this will work. Obviously, go to Ulta, go to Sephora, swatch it, do your thing before you buy it. That's very key. Next up, I have another brush here. So this one is also a setting powder brush. So this one is from Kat Von D. I did get sent this to me in a PR package like a few months ago. Um, I got the Locket Concealers and their setting powder, which I also like. But the brush was by far my favorite favorite, favorite, favorite brush. So look at this domed shape here. This one is truly meant, I believe, for getting under the eyes. I feel like the dome shape right under here is perfect for tapping. And if you're going to bake, you know, especially just dusting it off, it just has such, it's so like, ugh, I just can't get enough. I just wanna like rub it all over my face. Like, 
it's amazing um, and it just does the trick really well I've washed it and it does not shed which I, I can't stand when you buy a nice brush and it sheds so I would highly highly recommend this if you're looking for a more high-end brush all right so back to the drugstore find I don't know what's been wrong with me but you know, I've been sleeping on Shea Moisture makeup. Like, I've seen it and I've been like, okay, I see Shea Moisture, but I haven't really been convinced to buy something. But I did check out their blushes. So this is just a beautiful, beautiful, um, it's more of like a deep pink, but it just looks so nice on brown skin tones. It's called Spice. And when I say that these, like, <laughs> blushes are pigmented, I mean, like, barely, like, tap it and then, like, gently swipe it on your cheek. Because this thing was, like, six bucks and it's gonna last you a long time. I was so surprised. It's more pigmented than two of the NARS blushes that I have. Um, yeah, like, they just... They hit it out of the park. Go check it out for yourself. I mean, I'm I'm sold. I gotta go back when my Ulta has more in stock. I gotta go check them out because they are bomb.com. And last but not least, I've actually got the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. So I know everybody's been like, super into MAC and it took me a long time to get into it myself <laughs> but you know why I bought this because I saw um, a video by Makeup Shayla and she had her highlight and contouring and I love some amazing concealers but you know right at the bottom of my dark circles like they just no matter what I do they always kind of pop through my makeup so I heard that this is actually a great, um, had great coverage from Makeup Shayla, so I was like, okay, I gotta check it out. And I'm so, so surprised. I mean, this is something, like, it definitely blends out, like, you know, beautifully and doesn't look heavy or cakey. You can wear it with natural makeup, you can wear it with heavier makeup. Um, I'm really, really impressed with the coverage. Now, the shade selection that they had was, it was kind of weird for me. So this one, I usually go with a more golden undertoned um, concealer. And this one is slightly red, but it still looks good on me. I mean, I'm wearing it right now, and I don't think you can see my dark circles underneath. So proof that it actually works. <laughs> So we've reached the end of this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed my favorites. Let me know down below what are some of your beauty favorites for this month because y'all know I'm always looking to test things out. And don't forget to tune in next week. I've got some awesome content. Halloween is rolling around. So if you guys have any suggestions for tutorials you'd like to see, you know to hit me up in that comment section. All right, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.